Hi, my name is Nadia, and I'm going to be reading Reading Beauty by Deborah Underwood. Once upon a planetoid, surrounded by book lovers, a princess Lex read morning, noon, and night beneath her covers. Lex's bedroom brimmed with books. She read them at top speed. She even trained her puppy Prince to fetch her things to read. But on her 15th birthday, Lex awoke. Her books were gone. She raced to find her parents. Make them stop. What's going on? Then answered with a, they answered with a story. Long ago when you were small, we held a celebration and invited one and all. But while the guests were toasting you, we heard a muffled shout. A fairy burst in furious that she had been left out. How could you not invite me? I must say I'm rather miffed. But wait, we did. Be quiet, let me give your Lex a gift. Like all you wretched readers, Lex will live for reading. But when she's 15, she'll flip a page and get a paper cut. The paper cut will bring a curse. A death like sleep will take her. She'll stay awake forever and only true love's kiss will wake her. That's why we hid the books away, her mother said dejected. For any book could cut you, and you need to be protected. Without its books, their world grew bleak, consumed by dark and gloom. Lex watched the shadows spreading from the windows in her room. It's all my fault, she said to Prince. I can't let things get worse. I'll fly to find the fairy, then I'll make her break the curse. Prince's nose picked up a scent. Good dog, those books, I need them. We'll bring a lot to pack them up and hold them while I read them. Lex started off with how to fly, then how to find a fairy. And stories gave her courage when the trip got rough and scary. Meanwhile, in her fairy lair, the fairy shrieked, it's Lex. She won't get me. I'll stop her with the thorny hedges hex. A wall of thorns around her home. Nice try, but she can't hide. A, gold, a garden book helped Lex cook up a homemade herbicide. The hedges dissolved to shrivel bits so Lex and Prince could land. The fairy said, that girl is doomed. I've got something special planned. I'll tempt her with the thing she loves, a gorgeous poisoned book entitled How to Lift a Curse, so have to take a look. Zap, zip, a glowing book appeared. Prince sniffled. What is this, Lex said. The fairy listened through the door. No sounds, she must be dead. The fairy inched near sleeping Lex to check her now closed eyes. But Lex sprang up and grabbed her wand and said, hello, surprise. I've got quite good at faking sleep when I was just a kid, so I could read past bedtime. Now about that curse you did. That curse will last forever. You'll never change my mind. Then Prince nudged Lex's leg and barked. Lex looked, what did you find? You are invited to a royal ball to celebrate the birth of Prince Lex. You were invited to my ball. We thought this didn't reach you. Wait, can it be that you can't read? Don't worry, I will teach you. Me? Read? In her excitement, the poor fairy didn't think. She touched the book, she turned ghost white and crumpled in a blink. The fairy cursed herself, cried Lex. We need to help her, quick. Prince ran up and gave the fairy's face a sloppy lick. The fairy slowly came to life. What happened? I'm not dead. Oh, Prince loves everyone, Lex shrugged. She smiled and scratched his head. So Lex came home, the books came back, and the land was full, filled with laughter. 
the fairy found a job and all read happily ever after.